Welcome back. I finished up the dry pour. Look at that. I might have gotten a little sunburn in the process. Dry pour under pavers. Uh, it works out really well. It's uh, really super solid. I just gave it its final watering. Anything after this is all going to be what Mother Nature provides. So let's take a look at how it uh, happened. My wife is starting on this right now. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to put a sidewalk from here up to the bistro seating, seating area. We're going to have these pavers. They're going to run as an edger all the way up to the sides. They're going to be painted black or stained black, the same as the ones that are around this patio and around the bistro seating area. And then it'll be rock in between the pavers. That's the belief right now. We'll see if it actually ends up being that way, but that is what we believe it's going to end up being. This is primarily going to be my wife's project, so I'm going to try and catch a little bit of her working, mainly as she's making progress on it. Uh, she has to start off by staining the bricks, the small pavers, that will be the edging, and then we're going to be doing cement underneath, putting these on top of it, because that bistro seating area is so nice. It's so rock solid. So we're doing another dry pour under pavers experiment to see how that goes. In between is going to be rocks. So in between is going to be rocks. So you should still be able to set, step on it. The rocks will be nice and solid because they'll be supported all the way around. The corners in between here will have a, a row of, of pavers running here that'll be mounted in cement with the rock in between. So this rock shouldn't move. It should. Other than the fact that it's rock, it won't move out at all. The pavers will stay in place and they won't move at all. So the short uh, description is going to be the pavers like this all the way down the sides right to the corners of the, of the, the big pavers. And those will form the side of the walk all the way up. This is our leftover smaller pavers right now. We bought these because they were very inexpensive, and since we're staining every all of these a different color anyway, it doesn't matter what color we're getting them. These were 23 cents each on sale, clearanced off. And since we don't care what the color is, they work perfect. Plenty of them, and we are going to use them everywhere. Yeah, the, the issue being when we got the palette, we did not realize that it was this orange till we got it home and looked at the other palette and went, oh, wow, that's really orange. So now I have to fix it. So my wife, Colleen, who you're hearing, is using this concrete stain. Okay, and this was one of the big things I wanted to show you guys. This concrete stain works great. You don't have to mix it in with the wet mix. You can do it after things dry and set. And you've already seen the bricks that this has been painted with. All of our black, black drip. You've already seen. You've already seen the the bricks that this has been used to stain. They go around our patios. They separate the areas. They go around the seating area at the bistro table. My wife is the one that has done all of that work, and she does a fantastic job. The more coat you put on it, the darker it is. We are in Arizona, so actual black isn't the best option but this is a gray so it's not quite as heat absorbing as a true black would be so this is the station that she's got set up she's doing the edges and then she'll do this the top and bottom well, I did the top and then I did the edges okay the top while they're laying flat and then did the edges first coat first coat which isn't very impressive no, it's not. But it dries extremely quickly. It does. Because we live in this state called Arizona. It's dry. It is a very dry state here. It not is always in a dry state here. Almost. But we're central Arizona, so it's not like we live in Phoenix. No, we do not live in no. Phoenix. That would kill me. I would literally die in that heat. I would be the egg on the pavement. Why five million people live in Phoenix, I will never understand. <laughs> this is where the concrete underneath the seating area ends. It's there to hold all the dirt in place underneath it. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that out, build up this area with AB some, put in more dry pour concrete that the pavers will sit on top of. Okay, all that's left is digging out some of this dirt so we can get a nice deep concrete base under the pavers so it'll hold up under traffic. Okay, now that we've moved all the rock from where the path is going to go, we're going to be putting cement in. I also chiseled out where the cement was from putting in the, the seating area here with where the path is going to connect in the way that we're building it this will make sense but for now we've got cement and we've got a whole bunch more in the truck so we're set to get started since we're putting pavers on top of this what I'm doing is we put in one paver so we'd know exactly how wide it was. And then we have the little four by eight pavers that are gonna be going down the sides. So we need to have that width plus four inches, plus a little bit of an overhang. And then of course, down at an angle on the sides, that'll provide us our strength so that it won't fall away, break anything like that. In Arizona, we don't have to worry about frost, a freeze line in the ground. So this should hold up just fine. It should not need an expansion joint. If it does, at least it won't shift much when it cracks. So, all right, so 35 bags of cement in. Still have some more to, to put in. You can see I need more along this edge. That was a nice focus, wasn't it? Uh, the right side is almost done. Uh, it's going to come up to the edge here. I'm going to have to break out a little bit of the Portland cement, take a couple of these bricks out, replace them. So I can, I can square up the 4x8s like they are on the other side. These are cut to the angle of these bricks so that they'll make a nice little fit. So it should be a very nice walkway when it's done. One of the 16x16 16 16 pavers left to put in. The 4x8s aren't laid in. We just wanted to see what it looked like. But you can see it's got a nice straight line going all the way to the end. There, the, the cement is still dry. Uh, it has not yet been wet, but once you set the pavers on it, they sit. They feel more locked in place being on top of the dry cement than they do on the sand that you use, the leveling sand. So I'm not nearly so worried about walking on them as I would be if it was just sand. Just sitting alone like that, they just don't move. So anyway, onward and upward and next time that I fire up the camera I should have all the 16 by 16s in and have a good start on the 4 by 8s all right well now that we have one side done except for the last brick that needs to be cut to fit in there next step I'm gonna backfill with rock on top of the dry cement that way there's a bottom layer of rocks that'll be in the cement so it will never you'll never actually see the cement so hopefully it'll work out nice all right well we've pretty much reached the end all we have left is this little bit to cover with rock and then I'll go over it with air blow all the concrete dust off of the pavers and then I'm gonna water it down the rock that's on top should adhere to that top layer of concrete so that it never looks like concrete and should set everything in place really nice so nothing moves so i'll see you in a few minutes when it's actually done first watering is done the rock is filled in good enough all we wanted to do was make sure that there was rock on top of the concrete so that when we watered it it would actually lock in place that'll lock everything in place the pavers won't move around or anything like that now normally when you do a dry pour when you can actually see the concrete on top you want to take and scree it so that you get the powder to the top and then you just barely missed it a couple of times so you get a nice crust on the top and then you start doing gentle waterings that way you don't wash the mortar out of it 
that's what's adhering everything together. This, we're not so worried about it. I wanted to put the rock in there so that it doesn't actually splash out the mortar, but I just did a quick once over on shower and I'm gonna do that a few more times tonight and then we'll do it a few more times tomorrow and we should have a very nice walking area. Well, there you go. Finished up the path. I like it, it's good and solid. It's not gonna go anywhere. The cement's gonna hold the pavers in place. Unlike if it was on sand where they'd walk around, I don't have to worry about weeds because weeds don't go through cement. Passing truck, we're gonna wait for that to go by. I think that it adds a very nice look to the yard. It's fitting, it matches everything else. It lined up amazingly well. It is a slightly different color because it is still wet from the last watering, but I think that makes for a very nice addition to the yard. And it'll last for many years to come. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the channel if you like what I do and you want to see more of it, and I'll just keep doing stuff.